All right, what's going on guys? So about a year and a half ago, I made this video about this restaurant in Australia. Some of you may have seen it. It did pretty well. Shout out to those of you who recognize the wonderful lady in the thumbnail. But the reason I spoke about this specific restaurant was because they have this very, let's just say, unique policy where they decided to charge all male customers an additional 18% man tax. And the reasoning they gave for this was they wanted to counter the wage gap problem. Now, obviously, this was pretty stupid, right? And for some reason, it was not illegal in Australia. But the reason they are back in the headlines is Get Woke, Go Broke, vegan cafe that boasted about charging male customers an 18% man tax and seating women first is now closing down. Wow, that's so crazy, man. Who would have thought that such a genius business idea like this would have failed? I just can't believe it, man. It's almost like it's just simple economics. Like when you open a business, the idea is to target as wide of a demographic as possible. Therefore, you can bring in the most revenue. But to me, it seems like they did the exact opposite. I mean, number one, they're vegan. Now, I've never been to a vegan restaurant in my life. I mean, I'm just not interested in eating soybeans for dinner or whatever they eat. I don't know. I need some fresh meat in my mouth. Yes, I know how that sounds, and I don't care. So, you're already targeting an extremely tiny percentage of the population off the bat just by going vegan, and then on top of that, you add on this 18% ridiculous man tax, and by doing so, you've basically just eliminated half of the vegan population as well, because ain't no man coming into your restaurant just to get taxed 18%, even if he was vegan, right? So, I just fail to understand the thought process behind this decision. Like, I guess they thought that charging men 18% more meant that they were gonna see 18% more profit? I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? It's just simple math. Charge 18% more, get 18% more money, right? I mean, what's the issue? Oh, wait, the problem is they didn't account for the fact that people aren't fucking stupid and they're not just going to pay 18% more for absolutely no reason. Instead, they're just not going to eat there. So instead of getting your 18% more profit, I'd say you lost about 50% of your profit by driving away all the male customers. So I would say that their business model is not looking too great. But on top of that, I did some further research on the situation and I found their hours of operation on their Facebook page and I thought this this was pretty interesting. So it seems that they happened to be closed on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For what reason? I don't know. Maybe they hate making money. I I'm not really sure. And then you'll notice on the days that they are actually open, they're only open from 9.30 to 3 p.m. So I guess dinner just doesn't exist in this restaurant. Like that, that's just not an option. Do vegans not eat dinner? I'm not sure. What once again, I don't know who came up with this business model, but it's not exactly hard to see why it failed. I mean, you're only appealing to like, what, 1% of the population in the first place, and even to that very small demographic that you're appealing to, you're barely even open enough to give them a chance to eat there, so I don't really understand how you were planning on making any money. I mean, I guess they thought that that extra 18% they were going to get from all the male customers was going to make up for it, but uh, for some unknown reason, that just didn't work out, man. Who knows? You know, I, I just can't think why. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to just give away 18% of my money for no reason other than the fact that I have a ball sack. That sounds like a great idea. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? I mean, this would be the perfect place to troll in real life. Like, I wish they would open up one of these places near me, man. I would totally go up there, but 
I mean, then again, I highly doubt this would be allowed in America. I mean, it's illegal, right? I mean, I'm not sure how this happened in Australia. I guess, you know, their rules aren't as strict, but you know, this type of shit would not fly in America. But I would just love to go up to this restaurant, eat my fucking plate of grass or whatever they eat. I have no idea, right? And then when they bring me the bill, uh, I would see on the bill that they have charged me an additional 18% man tax, right? And this is when I would have to be offended, right? I'd be like, uh, excuse me, uh, you guys seem to have charged me the 18% man tax, which I find pretty weird because that would mean that you have just assumed my gender. This must be a mistake. I just can't believe you would do that. I'm literally shaking right now. I came to this restaurant because I thought it was a safe space for gender neutral organisms like myself, but instead you guys just assumed my gender. I mean, just because I have a dick doesn't give you the right to call me sir. Honestly, I'm disgusted by these actions. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, something like that, you know, maybe maybe tone it down a little bit. That might have been a little bit too much. But then again, I've seen people that actually act like that, so maybe not. But I would just love to see the reaction that I got to that. That would be a perfect YouTube video. But anyways, that's my thoughts on the situation. You know, we got to be fair when we're judging this situation. So let's go ahead and hear what the restaurant people have to say. It was not immediately clear why the cafe billed as a safe space for women and lesbians is closing, but it has faced widespread backlash for its perceived reverse sexism. Well, actually, I think it's pretty clear to why it's closing down, right? It's because it's not making enough money. That's why businesses go out of business. If this restaurant was making millions of dollars, guess what? They wouldn't be closing it down. In a farewell post on Facebook, Handsome Her said the man tax attracted widespread criticism online. The way the world responded to the man tax showed us how how fragile masculinity is and solidified the necessity for us to confront and dismantle patriarchy. So let me get this straight. Because normal people think that it's unfair that you are charging one gender 18% more than the other gender, that means that we suffer from fragile masculinity. And because of that, it confirms to you that you need to take down and dismantle the all-powerful patriarchy. Keep in mind, this is all because I just want all people to pay the same price for their food. That apparently makes me the scumbag in this situation, and you now feel the need to take me down. I guess because I'm actually promoting equality and that's not really what you want. You kind of want preferential treatment for yourself and certain groups of people hiding behind the whole umbrella of equality. But when in fact, if you have a brain and you actually look at it from an unbiased perspective, you can see that what you're trying to do is actually not equal at all. So yeah, I'd say their explanation is pretty bad. They still haven't really taken any responsibility for their failure. Somehow they've actually managed to blame it all on men. Like even though the whole business was created by women, designed by women, and managed by women, somehow they ended up blaming it on men. You know, that's not really adding up if you ask me, but I don't know, man. That's pretty much it for the story. It's just funny that um, this business ended up closing down. You know, not really a shocker, I would say, but um, probably to them, you know, because they don't really have a brain. But for everyone else, this may Makes a lot of sense. I, I'd call this justice. But before we wrap this video up, I want to completely switch gears a little bit. I know this makes absolutely no sense, but I did want to share this on YouTube and I, I didn't think it really deserved its own video. So if you guys have Twitter, you guys have probably seen the recent trend of people making these tier lists of all sorts of different categories. I mean, it could be video games, sports, movies, but probably one of the most popular ones that I've seen, especially in you know our community, is the Call of Duty tier list. So of course, as an official Call of Duty athlete, 
athlete, I had to go ahead and make my list. I tweeted it out and it got an unexpected amount of attention. I really didn't think it was that big of a deal, but apparently people really liked it. So I figured I would share it with all the YouTube people as well. I know not everyone has Twitter. So here is my official Call of Duty athlete approved tier list. So at the top in the amazing category, we have Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 2. Then right below that in the good category, we have COD 4, Modern Warfare 3, and World at War. Then in the above average category, we have Black Ops 3. And then in the okay category, we have Black Ops 4, Ghosts, AW, and World War 2. And then finally in the trash category, we have Infinite Warfare. Now, I will say you could probably convince me to move most of these either up one spot or down one spot. A lot of them are pretty close. But overall, I like this list. It's it's only factoring multiplayer, by the way. No campaign or zombies. I don't play any of that shit, so I can't really rank that. This is just a multiplayer Call of Duty list. But, you know, I figured I'd share it with you guys. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right